What is up you guys? I wanted to come to you guys today with my Impact Wrestling review. I'm just going to run through the matches and, it, and um, I'm just going to give you uh, the result of the matches for Impact Wrestling last night. So this is my Impact Wrestling review. If you guys enjoy this Impact Wrestling review, hit that thumbs up. It helps my YouTube channel in the YouTube algorithm. And um, so let's kick off the show. To start off the show, we had Tennille Dashwood and Madison Rain versus Havoc and Nevaeh. This was a two-on-two -two women's tag team match last night on Impact Wrestling. I thought this tag team match was pretty decent with Madison Rain and Tennille Dashwood versus Havoc and Nevaeh. I thought this uh, women's tag team match was pretty decent for what it was. It was kind of slow to start off. The The match started off slow. It didn't really pick up. It, it kind of stayed slow through the match. It didn't really... The intensity in the match didn't really pick up like I thought it would. Um, the match, the match, it kind of bogged down as the match went along. The match like bogged way down. It's the momentum just completely stopped. Um, this match, this went, this women's tag team match, it just, it was slow. It was methodical. It, it really didn't do much for me. Um, I thought these two tag. Th I thought these two women tag teams did a pretty decent job last night on Impact Wrestling for a two-on-two -two women's tag team match with Havoc and Nevea versus Madison Rain and Tennille Dashwood. I thought this match was decent for a two-on-two -two women's match last night on Impact Wrestling. Like I said, the match it it stayed it stayed bogged down. It didn't the momentum didn't pick up. In this match like I thought it would it, it kind of just stayed at a kind of a standstill it didn't really the, the pace didn't get the pace didn't really pick up the, the match really stayed to bog down it stayed like in a it kind of it, it stood at a standstill really the match was slow it was really methodical and I'm not into methodical wrestling I'm just not I I'm not into women's tag team methodical wrestling I'm just not I'm just I'm not into it. It does nothing for me. Um, I thought, I, but I thought the match was all right for a two-on-two -two women's match to start off the show for Impact Wrestling last night. But I thought the I wish the match would have went just a little bit quicker. This match kind of dragged. It, it 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 was a little bit longer than what I would have liked. Um, I didn't really like the match because it dragged. It it, it stayed slow. The match, the pace, it slowed way down. It didn't really do anything for me. The match kind of just stayed at a slow momentum. I mean, these women, they didn't really do anything. To, they didn't really do anything great. And and um, Havoc and Nevaeh ended up picking up the win over Madison Rain and Tennille Dashwood last night on Impact Wrestling in a very very slow women's tag team match last night and then we had Rohit Raju versus uh, TJP for the X Division Championship this match really this match was decent for a one on one men's match it was alright for what it was I thought it was a pretty decent to okay match it did nothing to wow me um, I'm not really I, I'm, I'm kind of I'm not really a fan of TJP, and I'm not a fan of Rohit. I'm just not a fan of these two. Um, TJP was never he was never he was never kind of a great guy in wrestling. He he his wrestling style is just not the way I I don't like his wrestling style. I really don't. Um, Rohit has a his wrestling style sucks too. I don't like either of these guys' wrestling styles. Both guys are slow, very methodical. I'm just not into methodical wrestling. I'm really not. I mean, this men's match last night between Rohit and TJP last night on Impact Wrestling for the in, for the X Division Championship was very slow, very methodical. I, I didn't enjoy this match. It was all right to be a one-on-one -on -one men's match. It was all right for exactly what it was. It was it was just decent to all right. It never really wowed me. It did nothing to say I would. I mean, it. It didn't. Well, it didn't do no. 
it didn't do anything to wow me. This match between Rohit and TJP was just like, uh, okay. I mean, it, it, it was alright for what it was. If you, it, I mean, if you like TJP and his kind of wrestling, more power to you. I just don't, um, I don't like Rohit either. I'm not a fan of these two. Um, this match was just kind of boring to me. And Rohit ended up picking the win over TJP last night. And Rohit retains his X Division Championship over TJP. And then we have Falaba. We have Falaba and Crazy Steve versus Reno Scum. I, I just don't care about this tag team match. This tag team match, it was just, it was alright. I mean, it was an alright tag team match with Reno Scum versus Crazy Steve and Fala Ba. This was an alright tag, this was an alright tag match. It was alright. I thought it was decent for really what it was to be a tag team match. This match, it, it didn't do anything for me at all. I just didn't really enjoy it. I don't really care about Fall Bot, and I don't care about Crazy Steve. I don't care about Reno Scum. I'm not a fan of either tag team, so this match just was, it was alright. It was, ah, uh, it was just, it was just a simple two-on-two -two tag team match last night on Impact Wrestling, and it was just an alright, it was an alright tag team match. It was just, a, it was just alright. It never really got out of the blocks. This match didn't pick up in intensity. This was just your basic run of the mill. This this match was just your basic run of the mill tag team match last night on on Impact Wrestling with Fala Ba and Crazy Steve versus Reno Scum, and Reno Scum ended up picking up the win over Fala Ba and Crazy Steve. And then we had, and then we had the main event. We had Chris. No, no, I'm sorry. We had we had the uh, we had Chris Sabin versus uh, AC Romero. Uh, Chris Sabin ended up picking up a win over AC Romero in a one on one match. It, this this match was just ah. Uh, I didn't really I didn't really think much of it. I could I, I it was just decent for what it was to be a one on one match between Chris Sabin and AC Romero last night on Impact Wrestling. This match was a decent men's match. It was it was just it, it was alright. I'll give it that. It was enjoyable for what it was to be a one on one men's match last night on Impact Wrestling. I thought it was alright. I thought it was a decent men's match for what it was. I didn't really think much of it. It was just alright for me. I it was all it was just okay I guess. And Chris Saban ended up picking up the win over AC Romero. And then we had the main event was Josh Alexander versus um um Eddie um we had Josh Alexander um in his in his match last night which was all uh, which was which was all right his opponent they, it was a pretty good match with his opponent. I, it was all right. I didn't really care for it all that much. I, it was just an all right main event. Um, Josh, um, I mean, I mean, we had Josh Alexander versus Carl Anderson. I'm sorry, guys. My mind drew a blank for a minute. We had Josh Alexander versus uh, Machine Guard, Machine Gun, Carl, uh, Carl Anderson, last night in the main event of Impact Wrestling. And this was an all right match between Josh Alexander and Carl Anderson. This was an all right main event for Impact Wrestling last night. It was a decent men's match for the main event for Impact Wrestling with Josh Alexander versus Carl Anderson. This was an all right men's match for what it was. It was really all. It was really nothing all that special. It was just your basic one on one men's match. Last night in the main event on Impact Wrestling between Carl Anderson and Josh Alexander, so I mean it was it was an all right men's match for what it was. I didn't really I, I it was just decent. I I mean I didn't really care for it. That that was your main event last night for Impact Wrestling with Josh Alexander versus Carl Anderson, and um Carl and and um this match went to a no disqualification. 
this match ended in a DQ between Carl Anderson and um, Josh Alexander last night in the main event of Impact Wrestling. The match ended in a DQ. So overall, this show for Impact Wrestling was it was it, it just fell flat. If they didn't really have nothing to offer last night, this this show has nothing to offer right now. It feels like they're just in a dead period for me. It feels like Impact Wrestling is just not... They're not really doing much of anything right now. They're just like... they're. It, it seems like they're just in a standstill. Um, I don't know what... I don't know where they're going. Um, the, be the best really thing that... The best thing going for Impact Wrestling right now is Deanna Perrazzo versus Sue Young for the Knockout Women's Championship. That's the best thing Impact Wrestling has going as of right now. Nothing else on Impact Wrestling right now really matters. They're not really doing much as of late. They're just, I mean, they're not really putting up any kind of great, like, TV. They're not, um, they're not really doing anything great on TV-wise. I mean, they're just not really doing anything that great. I mean, the only thing great that Impact Wrestling has going for it is Deanna Peraza, the Virtuosa, Versus Sue Young for the Knockout Women's Championship. Other than that, the I mean, Impact Wrestling has really nothing going for it right now. It feels like they're just they're in some like they're they're kind of in like in a standstill or a dead period. It they don't really feel like they the Impact Wrestling to me, it feels like they have nothing to do right now. They're just they're just throwing people out there to have matches. That's kind of how it feels to me. So this this show just kind of feel it kind of it kind of fell flat. It didn't really do anything for me. This show didn't this show didn't have anything great on the uh this show didn't have any, any great matches last night. This show didn't have any great matches. The one the one thing I can say that was great about Impact Wrestling last night and yet again I'm gonna keep beating. I did, I'm it feels like I'm uh, I keep saying this over and over, but. Deanna Perrazzo had a segment last night on Impact Wrestling that was really, really, really good. And I enjoy Deanna Perrazzo's uh, backstage uh, segments. I enjoy them. I think she does great during her backstage um, segments. I think her backstage segments are really, really fun to watch. I'm really enamored by Deanna Perrazzo and what she does backstage on Impact Wrestling. I think her backstage segments are really, really fun to watch. I enjoy her backstage segments. So if there's anything that, that was really anything that, that came out of Empire Wrestling that was good, the backstage segment with Deanna Perrazzo, the Virtuosa, was the best thing about Impact Wrestling last night. And I will continue to say this over and over and over. Deanna Perrazzo is the best thing about Impact Wrestling right now. I mean, Deanna Perrazzo is the best thing they got going. Outside of Deanna Perrazzo, Impact Wrestling has nothing going. So, there you go. So, big shout out to Deanna Perrazzo, the Virtuosa, on having an awesome backstage segment last night on Impact Wrestling. Other than that, I'm going to give Impact Wrestling a 1 out of 10. Like I said, the best thing about Impact Wrestling last night was the backstage segment with Deanna Perrazzo, the Virtuosa. That was the best thing about Impact Wrestling last night. So overall, I'm going to give Impact Wrestling a 1 out of 10 because of the Deanna Perrazzo backstage segment last night on Impact Wrestling. So if you guys like this Impact Wrestling review, hit that thumbs up. And um, guys, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Overall, this show for Impact Wrestling fell flat. It did nothing for me. This show, just, it feels it feels like they're just wasting time at this point. Um, the best thing that Impact Wrestling has going is Deanna Perrazzo, and that is the God's honest truth. So other than that, Impact Wrestling was a 1 out of 10 for me. If you, if you guys enjoyed this Impact Wrestling review, hit that thumbs up. It helps my YouTube channel in the YouTube algorithm. You guys, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell for all notifications here on the channel and guys uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, impact wrestling review as much as i enjoyed 
bringing it to you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching this Impact Wrestling review. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys back here tonight for the NXT and AEW reviews. I'll see you guys back here tonight for that. You guys have a great Wednesday. I love you guys. Your boy's out, man. Peace.